What's up guys, welcome back to Morimoto Lighting. I'm your girl Bear and today we're gonna to be talking about the 2010 to 2014 Ford Raptor four banger fog light replacement kit. But before we get into the install, let's tell you what these bad boys are all about. Are you a Raptor owner? Well, here at Morimoto Lighting, we have the perfect product for you. And it's the new four banger fog light replacement kit for the 2010 to 2014 Ford Raptor. For this install, these are the tools that you'll be using. Zip ties, 17 millimeter wrench, 10 millimeter socket, a ratchet of your choice, and also a T25 Torx. So first things first, go ahead and get your hood pop and we're gonna be locating the two mounting bolts. All right, now with the hood open, we're gonna be moving down to the very front of the bumper, locating those two bolts. So you can locate those two millimeter bolts right here. They're gonna be back behind the fog cutout area. Just go ahead and get you a socket and a 10 millimeter, and we're gonna go ahead and take those up and out. Now keep in mind on the bolt closest to the fender well, there is a little bit of a plastic trim. You may have to cut that and trim that out just a little bit to get a socket. But if you don't wanna do that, you'd probably have to use a wrench. But the socket and ratchet is making it a little bit smoother. And I do apologize guys, this is a tad bit hard to get on camera. So if it's not the best viewpoint, I'm sorry. Now keep in mind with these bolts, if they are a tad bit rusty on your vehicle, you can replace them with an M8 bolt with proper length. Now with these out, we're gonna go ahead and set these aside and head over to the tabletop. So now with your four banger fog light replacement kit, it will come with all the provided hardware, the harness, and also the brackets. So first things first we're gonna talk about is the four banger bracket for your vehicle. You can actually do up to two to three pod configurations. With a two pod configuration, you'll be using holes two and four. And for a three pod configuration, you'll be using holes one, three, and five. In our case, we're gonna be doing a three pod configuration. So now with that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and start mounting the U brackets onto the four bangers. So go ahead and take a four banger of your choice. It doesn't matter if it's an NCS, HXB, don't matter the beam pattern, it'll work with this kit. Now you're probably wondering, Bear, which is left and right? Well, a great key thing Morimoto did was actually put a left and right indicator. If you sit inside your vehicle with the driver's side looking out, the driver's side will be the left side and the passenger side will be the right side. So now with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and move over to the four bangers. First things first, go ahead and grab a four banger of your choice. There's gonna be a one, a two, and also a three. Now the number on these are very important guys. These will indicate which one goes where. The brackets are all different sizes from small to medium to large. So it allows you to have that perfect fit with your brackets when it goes into your Raptor. So now with the U bracket, go ahead and take that larger bolt in the kit. We have to go ahead and install this now because then later on we can't install this with the four banger in place. Go ahead and slide it into the slot right above and then take a four banger of your choice and you're gonna line it up to the very holes on the side of the four banger. You're gonna be using a T25 bolts that are included in the kit and we're just gonna tighten those down on both sides of the four banger. Now with that done, go ahead and head over to the two other four bangers and do the exact same thing to those. And voila guys, the four bangers are almost ready to install onto the truck. So we're gonna go ahead and take that main bracket and meet you down at the front bumper. Now just go ahead and take that main bracket and using those two bolts that we took out earlier, you're just gonna go ahead and feed this back behind the front bumper and we're gonna mount it and show you how to do that. All right guys, now it's time for the fun part, installing the four bangers. With our setup, we're gonna go with all HXBs, meaning they are the premium of the four bangers. We're gonna go with a yellow wide, a white combo, and a white spot. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and take the yellow one with the larger mounting, and we're going to install this on the further part of the bracket. So all you have to do is feed it up and through, and then locate that outer hole that I showed you guys earlier in the video. Now that you've located the closest hole to you, go ahead and take the nut and washer that's provided in your kit as well. And you're just gonna slide that onto the bolt and tighten it down. All right, now with that in, keep in mind, only finger tight these nuts due to the fact that you're going to tighten all of them down once the four bangers are placed and you have them pivoted in the direction that you would like it. So next up, what we're gonna do is go with the second largest U bracket, the number two one, and we're gonna feed it in the same exact way we did with the first one 
you're going to locate hole number three. It's going to be in the center of your bracket. And then we're going to take the provided hardware as well and finger tighten that down also. All right, and lastly, the third one we're going to be putting in is with the shorter U bracket. Same exact thing, guys. Just feed this bad boy in and then you're going to find the furthest hole away from you and feed that into the hole. And also using the same exact hardware, just finger tighten that down as well. All right, now with the floor bangers installed, we're gonna go ahead and take a 17 millimeter wrench and tighten those things down. Keep in mind, you may have to hold the floor bangers so it doesn't really pivot when you're tightening it down. All right, now with all the floor bangers tightened down and in the proper direction you want it, you can go ahead and head over to the driver's side and do the exact same thing. All right, guys, now it's time for the wiring harness. With the floor banger harness, it actually comes with two relays, six connectors, a power in ground, and also a signal switch. So let's go ahead and install the harness. Now keep in mind guys, this is just my recommendation on how to install this. You can install it however you would like. This is a customer's truck, so he has a lot of custom lighting in here as well, so just keep that in mind. First things first, go ahead and install your relay. Now keep in mind when mounting your relay, make sure that it is vertical, so no water intrusion or anything gets inside of the relay when mounting it. So just go ahead and locate the hole that's around the back side of the battery. You're just going to take a zip tie and feed it through the relay bracket and tighten it down. All right, so next we're going to move to the signal switch wire. With Raptors, you already have a bunch of auxiliary switches inside the truck, so just go ahead and refer to your owner's manual and figure out what auxiliary switch you would like to tap into. In our case, we are not going to be doing this due to the fact that this is a customer's truck. But I just wanted to show you guys in general where the aux wire area is at on the Raptor. As you see, this guy already has a couple already tapped in. So you can do the exact same thing. It's a preference of your own. All right, next up what we're gonna do is route the six connectors down to your four bangers. Now keep in mind guys that one side of the connector is a tad bit longer due to the fact that you're gonna be running this connector over to the driver's side. And then the shorter side will be ran up to the passenger side four bangers. So when feeding these wires through, I recommend go ahead and uninstalling your passenger headlight. It allows the process to be a little bit easier, but if you don't want to, I understand. So first things first, go ahead and just take a socket and a ratchet, and you're gonna be removing the two bolts on the very top, and then one on the very side. All right, now with those bolts out, go ahead and just gently tug on the headlight, releasing it from those clips on the very side. And you can go ahead and disconnect the headlight as well, just getting it up and out of the way so you can go ahead and route those wires. All right, now with the headlight out, go ahead and disconnect all the connectors on the back side and set it aside. All right, now with the headlight out, we're gonna go ahead and route these wires down to the four bangers. There's a small slither in between the washer fluid box and the battery, and you can just route it through that little hole. Just go ahead and take the connectors. Now, as you can tell, when you pull these through, there is a longer one and a shorter one. The shorter one will be going down to the passenger four bangers and the longer one you're gonna route over to the driver's side. Now with all the wires ran, you can go ahead and connect them to the four bangers and then zip tie that harness up nice and neat later on. Now just go ahead and connect all your connectors to your four bangers. Now this connector is a tad bit hard to see on camera, so I do apologize. Once that's done, go ahead and test out all the functions too as well, make sure they turn on. And then once that's done, tighten up all your harness, put the headlight back in, and you're ready to go. All right, now with all the four bangers connected, you can go ahead and connect your ground and positive on your battery. Using an eight millimeter, of course you can route this however you would like because there's multiple positive and ground points in the engine bay. But once that's done, go ahead and test out all of the four bangers, make sure they turn on. And if they work, go ahead and button everything back up and you're ready to go. And just like that guys, your four banger fog light replacement has been installed in your Ford Raptor. Make sure to check out what all of the products we have for your vehicle, such as the A-pillars, the XB headlights, and much, much more. Just put your year, make, and model at moimotolighting.com and we'll catch you guys over there.